everybody has to take a walk around Sapsucker Woods. This is really a very famous place nationwide and even internationally. It's grown up a lot, but it's been in a sanctuary for, since the 19, early 1950s. So people go for a walk around and we have a wonderful mix of habitats. Four and a half miles worth of trails. We've got the big sapsucker pond, which is uh, 26 acres worth with turtles and fish and herons and all of that kind of stuff. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, but it's sure to be sweet. Oh, it's, it's uh, beautiful. It's a great place to just sit or to walk around. You don't have to come here to bird. I mean, you can bird in your backyard or anywhere else, but certainly this is sort of the mecca of birding in terms of it's the only institution of its kind in the world. Ornithologists know about us because so much quality research comes out of the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Our bioacoustics research program, which specifically studies whale sounds, so there's a big sound component to what we do here at the lab. There's always been a, a lot of study of animal communication in that sense. We just have a big reputation both among professional scientists and among armchair bird watchers. If you sit still long enough, things begin to move. You know, people, we tend to forget how connected things are, whether you're looking at birds or any kind of animals, to realize you're not acting in a vacuum. Everything you do has an impact.